hello welcome back to another movement and story time where we focus on yoga and I am NOT a yoga instructor but I have found that yoga has been so beneficial to me um, and my health and well-being and um, when I'm feeling anxious and overwhelmed yoga is something that can help me sort of refocus my energy and um, right now um, with everything that's going on, um, it can be good for children to practice yoga and um, focus on their breathing, calming their bodies down. Um, and so today we're going to read Dinosaur Yoga and we'll do a couple of the poses afterwards. So this is Dinosaur Yoga. There are dinosaurs nearby. You see its tail poking out? Do you hear them crashing, bashing, thrashing through the leafy green? They have big teeth and even bigger feet, but they aren't trying to look mean. Sometimes they are sad or mad or tired of waiting for a turn. But these dinosaurs don't want to knock down the trees. They are here to learn. Today, when they don't get their way, they won't stomp on each other's toes. Instead, these dinos will take a break and try a yoga pose. It's time for dinosaur yoga. Start with a deep breath in and a long breath out as you roar and reach to each side. Then bend one knee and focus while you spread your wings out. Breathe in through your snout, breathe out. With strong and steady legs, bend both your knees now. Press palm to palm, claws pointed to the sky. Bring one mighty hind foot off the ground to balance, lifting your spiky frills high. Calm and still, breathe through your snout. Breathe out. Now straighten each scaly arm and fold slowly down, down, down. Bend your bumpy knees a little and almost touch the ground. Let your shoulders, neck, and horned head get heavy and hang low. Sway your big body to feel where you're tight and gently let it go. Breathe in through your snout, breathe out. Now stretch one enormous leg back like a tail as you lunge forward with a knobby knee. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out and feel how calm and awake you can be. With one knee down and a taloned hand on the ground, Reach the other hand high to make a straight line. Open up as wide as you can. Let your big heart shine. Breathe in through your snout. Breathe out. Sit up and feel your spiny spine grow tall. Straighten one long leg and cross the other over. Twist, then release. These dinosaurs are feeling better. It's the most relaxed they've ever been. Their spines are long, their shoulders loose, and they have a toothy grin. Sometimes they'll still get frustrated and tight in their scaly skin. But now, when they need to calm themselves down, they'll know exactly where to begin. 
with dinosaur yoga. And so we're going to do a couple of these poses that they did in this book. And um, again, not a yoga instructor, um, but we're going to we're going to do a couple of them, okay? So first we're going to stand up. And we're going to step forward with one foot. And you can spread your arms out wide in front of you. And this is a warrior pose. And you're strong and you're tough like a warrior. And then in that pose you can Lean back. And let's do that on the other side too. So we're going to step the other foot forward. And we're a warrior. We're tall and we're strong and fierce. Then we can tip back. And so then we can also do, they call this horse pose in, um, in this dinosaur book. So we're going to put our feet about shoulder width apart. And we're going to bend our knees a little and press our palms together. Good job. And the whole time you're, you're doing this, you're breathing in and out. Remember, through your snout. And while we're already standing, let's do tree pose. Do you remember tree pose? So for tree pose, you can put your foot on your calf like this. You can put it on your thigh like that. You have a lot of balance. And, or you can make like a little kickstand like this. You just don't want to put your foot over your knee like that. So we're going to put it on our calf. And you can press your palms sort of together in front of your chest. And you're breathing and you're focusing. You're focusing on your balance. It's okay to lose your balance. You're focusing. You can also reach your hands way up high like a tree. You're making sure your knee is turned out. And let's move to the other side. So we're going to really plant our other leg. Plant it nice and firm. Your foot is on your calf. Your knee is turned out. Your palms are pressed together in front of you. In front of your chest. And you can raise them up. Focus on your breathing, focus on your balance. And so then we're going to do another forward fold. So you're going to put your legs about shoulder width apart and you're just going to drop your head and your shoulders and your arms. You can bend your knees a little. You don't have to touch the ground. You're just letting all of the tension in your shoulders and your neck go. You can 
sway back and forth. You can sort of feel if your neck is tight. Just let your head hang low. And then we're going to come down to our mat. And for this one, you could either stretch your foot, your leg out in front of you, you twist your other leg over like this, or Miss Melanie usually sits sort of crisscross applesauce with the legs over. And once you're um, in this sort of position, you're just going to turn your body. Whole time you're breathing, you're thinking about your deep breaths. And we talked about what it means to be present, that you're not thinking about tomorrow, you're not thinking about what happened yesterday, you're only thinking about right now. And you can switch sides. So you can either leave that leg out in front of you or crisscross it. And then you're just going to slowly turn your body. And you're kind of like wringing your back out like you wring out a washcloth. You're wringing out all that tension and all those bad feelings inside of you. And you're breathing. It's most important. And then, um, and then to the final pose, final and probably most important um, to Miss Melanie um, is our corpse pose. And we're just going to lay on our mat, and it looks like you're not doing a whole lot. Your body is still. But all the work is taking place inside of you. You're thinking about your breathing. You're remembering what it is to be present. You're not worrying about tomorrow. You're not thinking about what happened yesterday, you're just thinking about right here. Think about how your body feels on the mat or on the floor. And take deep breaths in. That is our movement in story time, our yoga, um, our focus on yoga. And um, I thank you so much for joining me and for finding the time in your busy schedules to, um, to try this out. I hope it brings you as much joy as it does me. Um, thank you for watching. Bye.